I'll talk a little bit about uh, surrendering, surrendering everything to, to God, uh, simply because if you trust God, then uh, there's, there's no way to hold back, there's nothing to hold back from Him. Uh, if you really truly trust God, then you um, you got to give Him everything, you got to give Him everything. And I know one of the very difficult things to give up is heart. That's why we have more than 7.5 billion people in this world, but uh, you can find out that people who are in relationship with God, uh, not all of them, just few of them, because it's really, it's not easy to give up your heart. It's not easy to give up your heart unless you trust somebody. I can only give my heart to somebody uh, just because I trust how I trust him, that I can give my heart and everything, um, and my full commitment and my full submission to that person. And the same thing to God. Uh, if you don't really trust God, then you won't be able to give Him everything of yourself. You won't be able to let go of everything. You won't be able to let go of yourself, of your desire, and your focus and everything that you want. You won't be able to let it go, man. Uh, so it's just the issue of trust. Do you really trust God? Because if you trust God, you won't hold anything back. You're going to give Him everything. And He wants, He really wants everything. He just wants everything. You know, when I ask people sometimes that... Uh, what is your first priority in your life? And most of people are telling me about God. But God is my first priority. What is your first desire? God is my first desire. What is your first uh, focus? God is my first focus. And it's true. It's good, God, to be your first focus. But you have to remember that if God is your first priority, then you have second priority, third priority, and fourth priority. And always spirit and flesh, they're always fighting at the word of God says. So if you have your second priority, something else, that means it's always going to try to fight against the first priority, which is God, to take over. And now we are a human being living in a physical body. And sometimes we lose, sometimes we fail, sometimes we fall down. And when you fall down, then that second priority becomes the first priority. And God has no longer have a chance in your heart. Because in God, it's either full or none. You cannot be part-time Christian. It's either, it's either full-time Christian or not at all. It's either giving everything that you have or not at all. So what am I suggesting? I'm suggesting that God to be the only priority in your life. God to be the only focus in your life. God to be the only desire in your life. Only. The Bible says from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 that seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to you. Mm. So speak. look at this. All things will be added to you. Why? Because God is the only option. He's the only priority that you have. He's the only focus. He's the only thing that you're seeking for. But if you have the second priority and other things, that means you seek for your own self. You, you just have it for your own self. But the Lord of God says that it will be added to you. So if we, we fully and we truly put our trust in Him mm -hmm. and our focus on Him, mm -hmm. then all things will be added to you. Mm -hmm. And I mean it. And I mean, the Word of God means the Word of God is true and His promises is yes and amen. So when He says that all things will be added to you, then it means all things will be added to you. But the funny thing is, most of us, we don't believe, we don't trust that. Say, so how come everything will be added to me? How come? Because the God, he told someone that I am God and I'm not looking the same way as the man does. Mm -hmm. I'm a God, I'm looking after her. Mm -hmm. You're looking the physical body, who handsome, this guy's handsome, this guy has a lot of money, but this guy, no, not you, <laughs> this guy, he said this, but I'm looking after her. So God is watching over your heart. So I met a lot of people that have received a lot of discouragement and been discouraged in their lives, in their family, uh, through friendship and things like that. And, uh, but uh, you have to understand that nobody can take away uh, your identity because your identity is hidden in Christ and God is looking after your heart. So no matter what you have outside, but your heart is after God. This is everything that God wants. It's everything that God needs and all things you've got to you. Healings, blessings. I don't know, mention everything, you know, everything will be added to you. But are you surrendering everything to God? I mean all things, like really all things. All things. So just give it all to you. I'm telling you God, you can have it all. That's the idea, that's why uh, God gave me this song. Because when I was meditating and thinking about just surrendering everything, and then I realized that God, I give you my heart. And my soul. All that I have is yours. I need more of you and less of me.
take this heart and make it yours. I surrender to you, Jesus. I surrender to you, my King. And when you say this, when you when you confess these words, and when you, uh, in your deepest, uh, in, your, uh, in your secret place, when you confess these words, and when you sing these words, and when you, you just sing out to God spontaneously, you know, God is going to seize your heart, and He's going to uh, do something in your life. So, let's surrender all. 2017, just give all things to God. Give everything to Him. Your disease, your troubles, your trials, your temptations, and everything that you have, just give everything. Your sickness and your sleepiness, just give everything. To God. <laughs> Sometimes he give, God gives us things and He takes it away. He wants to take it away, but you know, God is, is a good God. So He will never take anything away from you if you don't play. It's your choice because God he gives us free will. So it just depends on your decision. How much you trust him and are you willing to let it go? Are you willing to give him everything? Do you trust him enough? Do you trust him enough to give him everything? So it's your choice. If you decide, he's gonna I shared before that I've been struggling to, to surrender for one year, something that God wanted me, really wanted me to surrender, and I never let it go because I found my identity in that. And I was like, no, I cannot let it go. Without this, I won't be able to leave. But God was like, no, leave it to me. I was like, no, God, this is everything, God. No, come on, you cannot take this away. You can take anything else except this. And God he kept saying, no, I, I need this. The most important thing in my life, God, you wanted it. And I was like, no, God, you got to be kidding me. He said, no, I need that. And most of the time, God is like that. But the reason why, because that thing, I, I mean, my, my whole attention and heart, it was there. And God, He wanted my heart. I wasn't worshiping God anymore, I was worshiping. I wasn't doing anything for God I was doing. So God, He wanted my heart. And, <laughs> so I didn't, I, and I didn't know how much I was struggling. Or how, you cannot really know if you're in darkness right now because you don't let it go. But if you let it go, then you're going to see so much light. You're going to see so much freedom. You're going to see so much satisfaction in your life. And you're going to realize that, man, uh, why I've been going through all those kind of things. You know, talking about this, I don't mean that all things that God is asking us to surrender, they are bad things. No. They're really, something that God asks me to surrender is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's actually a really good thing. It's, it's amazing thing. You know, it's not bad. But, you know, he, the, it's, it's just the target. It, are you defined by what you have or are you defined by God? Your trust is in what you have or your trust is in God. Your trust is in money or your trust is in God. So if your trust is in money, then God is going to ask you to surrender that because at the end of the day, He, wanna win, he wants to win your heart. This is what He wants. So He's not asking us always to surrender things you know, like things that are bad. He, sometimes He asks us to surrender things that are good. That's why surrendering is so bad. It's, it's so hard because you know this is a good thing. Why do you ask me to surrender again? <laughs> For example, if God, you're a worship leader, and God is asking you to stop. Mm. Just, just, I mean, God is asking you. That's really too much. Yeah. Uh, okay, he's, he, he's, 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 he's too much. He's asking you that, okay, GP, you, don't, you have to stop maybe uh, leading worship in your church. God is telling you that. Okay, leading worship is the good thing. You're worshiping God. So you say, God, God why do you want me? No, come on. But, but listen, if, if you stop, if you stop leading worship in your church, that is your worship to God. Do you understand? That sometimes we think that worship is about singing and singing the song that we sing, but worship is our obedience to God. When you submit everything to God, you surrender everything to God and say, yes, Lord, that's your worship to God. So if God tells you to stop, and then you stop, stopping, that's your worship to God. But not doing, so sometimes, most of the time, oh, I just want to do, 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 do. No, I mean, worship to God. Our Christian life is not just about doing things. No, I, myself, I do a lot of activities. And sometimes it's so hard when God is telling me, Mika, you got to stop this and that and that. You have, uh, you know, to give up this and this and that. It's kind of hard. But God, I want to do it, you know, because I feel like I love you more when I do it. And I feel like, but you know, God is not loving us because we're doing a lot of things for him. But he's loving us because he's in relationship with us. No matter who we are, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're not doing, God, he's in love with you because he wants relationship with you. So obedience is better than sacrifice. Than sacrifice. So why is God asking you this night to surrender? I, I know I, I'm talking to somebody right now. I'm talking to you. 
a lot of people you might be watching right now, but I'm talking to you. What is God asking you to surrender? What? And if that thing God has given you, if what God is asking you to surrender is something that God he has given you, why is it so hard to let it go? And if God didn't give you, what is so, why is it so hard to let it go? Because he knows it's not good for you. Oh, he knows what you have right now is not going to help you for the new season for 2017. So he wants, he has another plan. You know, it's, the Bible says in Jeremiah that I know the plans are for you, for good, and not for evil, to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm talking this not just to encourage you guys, but because that's that's where I'm living right now. This guy, he knows I'm living in the life of surrendering right now. That I let go a lot of things, a lot of things that it was like my habit. I was like, this is who I am. But I have to let go of everything. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard sometimes because I want I want to do it again, but I said no. And I was like, okay, I gotta trust you. I'm not gonna do this again. Just have it all. You can have it all along, every part of my world. Take this heart and give. This heart is it now yours. You are hundred percent submission to God is also your hundred percent resistance to devil. Mm. So <laughs> if you are hundred percent submission to God mm. is also your hundred percent. Uh, resistance to devil. So if you submit yourself to God 50%, that's how you're going to resist devil. But the funny thing is this, that in God, there's no half. Mm -hmm. It's either full or none. There's no 99. Full-time Christian or none at all. There's no part-time Christian. No, it's, no, it's no, Alba, no Alba Christian. Yeah, it's full. You know, when I'm talking about this, uh, some of you might be feeling that, oh, these guys, they have a lot of pride. <laughs> <laughs> you Christianity is real life it's not just speaking <laughs> me and this guy and everybody that you see Christian we are we are like we are not in heaven we're living in heaven in this on this earth so we are still struggling too it's a process submission 100% <laughs> submission to God it's a process so when you look at us or when you look at you or me and don't think that oh, they are perfect man we are I, I, I'm not perfect this guy He's not happy. <laughs> but it's a process. We are running toward, toward that way. So Christianity, oh Christianity, it's not about perfection. Because if you're perfect, then you don't really need God. But God, Jesus is saying that I came for sinners. And I am a sinner. He's a sinner. You are a sinner, I believe. And you need God. And I need God. We both need God. And the process of surrendering or submission to God is not just one time given. But it's every single day submission, every single day surrendering, every single day relationship. So it's every single day. I didn't reach 100, but I'm still struggling. I'm going, I'm going. And maybe until Jesus comes back, I will never reach there. But I will never stop. I'll never quit. I'll just keep pursuing him. I'll just keep struggling. I'll just keep striving. If I fall down, I'll, I'll, I'll stand again and go and go. Never give up in this journey. God will tell you that Christians, doesn't mean that we we, 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 like we, we don't fall. Sometimes we fall. Sometimes we fall down. But then we wake up. But then we keep moving forward. But then we keep running. But then we keep running after him. We keep running after him. Yeah. So it's just about that. It's just about never quitting and just seeking after God. Because when God sees your heart, he just wants heart that is after him. Is your heart after God? After God means you always pursuing Him. You know, it doesn't matter how far or how near you are, but you always, as long as you're in that direction of seeking Him, as long as you're in that direction of following Him, then that's the only thing that He wants. Yeah. Let me stop there. There's a lot of things going on in my mind. I just want to pray to make it sharp. But I believe I'm talking to somebody there. So God bless you so much. Oh, See you next time when. Yeah.